with infections, uh, what is uh, the most difficult part, uh, you cannot measure it very well, because if you do this IgG or IgM antibodies, you can lower IgM antibodies, so you think maybe this infection is not going on, but then you know the reason and you don't know how uh, long the treatment should last. And I would say that using Cunningham panel, uh, you could see um, uh, all those antibodies which allow you to tell whether uh, uh, this child still needs prolonged treatment or maybe it's time to stop. And this is a major answer to me as a doctor, to continue or not. Am I helping with my protocols or not? Since um, you can uh, only measure center, uh, some parameters uh, with these viruses uh, and and uh, bacteria, uh, you're never sure whether they are gone forever or they, if there is still something which stops uh, the child from a proper development. And uh, I think that's why uh, the Cunningham panel is so important. Many patients. Uh, they are just afraid of treatments. And uh, recently I um, had such boy and uh, uh, he had all of these OCDs and uh, uh, there was very difficult for parents to understand that they have to undertake treatment. And uh, Cunningham panel actually helped them to understand that they need to go on with antibiotics and antivirals. And sometimes for parents it's like, oh yes, we understand now, uh, with these antibodies we would have this set of behavior and that's the very truth that uh, we understand now that uh, there is ongoing inflammation.